Hello students, how are you today? Open your book page 24. We're going to learn vocabulary about jobs and um, places of work. So look at the photos. Um, who works are each place? It's store, circus, and newspapers. Who works at each place? ¿Quién trabaja en cada lugar? Aquí tenemos a unos Unos trabajos match the jobs with the places of work. A reporter, lo vamos a poner en newspaper, en un periódico. Acrobat, in a circus. Sales clerk, que es un vendedor. In a store. Instructor, in... Este no tiene, ¿verdad? Instructor sería in the gym. Chef in the restaurant. O le pueden escribir por ahí un ladito. A lawyer in an office, en una oficina. Así que pueden escribir o unir con estos tres lugares, pero hacen falta los demás lugares. Lo pueden escribir aquí. So think of other jobs. For each place, for example, in the newspaper, uh, an editor, graphic artist, a photographer can work in this place. In the circus, the clown, el payaso, uh, the ring master, the lion tamer, the, mm, 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 I don't know, in the store, the manager, the stock person in the gym, que sería el otro lugar, puede ser the trainer, the massages, therapist, in the restaurant, the server, dishwasher, and the office, the secretary, the personal assistant. What qualities do you, do you need to do these jobs? For example, chefs needs, need to be good, eh, creative. ¿Qué necesitan? ¿Qué cualidades? The reporter needs to be good at writing, persistent. The acrobat needs to be athletic, entertaining. The sales clerk needs to be patient, careful with money. The instructor can be, need to be enthusiastic in shape, fitness. And the lawyer need to be good at communicating, clever. Okay. So look at the woman in the activity two. This woman. How old do you think is she? And where is she from? De donde creen que sea? What is her job? Vamos a escuchar un audio. Listen to an, an interview and pay attention to their her age, nationality, and job. Van a escuchar también y si corregir estas, a uh, circular la opción correcta en estas cuatro oraciones para completarlas. Okay. Hi, today I'm talking to a bodyguard. Nadia Mikalova. Welcome to the program, Nadia. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us about yourself. Well, I'm 28 years old. I'm Russian and I'm from Moscow. But I live in Monte Carlo now and I work as a bodyguard. How long have you been a bodyguard? For about six years. And how long have you lived in Monte Carlo? For three years now. There are lots of clients there, you see. Ah, and are female bodyguards common? Not really. There are more women in business now than there used to be, but most bodyguards are still men. Some people prefer women because male bodyguards are sometimes too aggressive. What qualities do you need to be a bodyguard? You have to be in good shape, and you have to know how to protect your clients. I have a black belt in judo, for example. Really? How long have you practiced judo? Since I was 18. 
I still go to classes five times a week. That's a lot. And have you had any dangerous experiences? No, I haven't. And fortunately, I've never lost a client. That's good to hear. Is it an interesting job? Well, I've never had a boring client, but you have to wait around a lot. You can get pretty fed up. Thanks for coming in today, Nadia. No problem. Okay, so she's a bodyguard, una guardia de seguridad. Do you think it will be exciting? What are some of the dangers? What qualities do you need to be a good bodyguard? Do you have them? So listen and circle the current options to complete the sentences. Cuando terminen esta página, van a hacer el interactivo número 5 de la unidad 2 y me la mandan todas juntitas, ¿ok? Las que les hagan falta. That's for all for today. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.